Hey everybody, so happy Monday. Welcome to math. Today we are going to be working on unit 19.4. It says solve problems with bar graphs. So we're going to be using bar graphs and building bar graphs to actually help us solve problems. So our essential question, how can you solve problems by using a bar graph? That's the question we're going to try and answer throughout this lesson. So let's start with a problem. It says unlock the problem. Jordan took a survey of his classmates to find out their favorite team sports. He recorded the results in the table at the right. How can he show the results in a bar graph? So Jordan created a tally table, right? And we know that we can turn this into a frequency table if we needed to, or we can take this data and turn it into a bar graph. And here's how we do that. You guys have practiced this already on Friday when you did your uh, bar graph video. But we're going to do it again now, this time on paper. It says write a title at the top to tell what the graph is about. So we're going to stop there and we're going to do that part. What is this going to be about? Favorite team sports. So favorite team sport. We did that. Label the side of the graph to tell about the bars. That's the second thing we have to do. So he's talking about this one. So what is all of this over here going to be? Well, that's going to be the different sports. So we're going to write sports. OK, I have done that one. Label the bottom of the graph to explain what the numbers tell. So what are these numbers telling? Well, that's how many people like that sport because it said over here he surveyed his classmates to find out their favorite team sports. So this might say um, uh, sorry my brain kind of went dead. We're going to say number of classmates because that's what our graph is showing us, is the number of classmates that like these sports. All right, we have done that. Choose numbers for the bottom of the graph so that the most of the bars will end on a line. Since the least number is 4 and the greatest number is 14, make the scale a 0 to 16. Mark the scale by 2s. So they looked at their tally chart and they said, okay, we have 5, 10, 11, 12. 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Most of my numbers are even, so I can count by twos to have a shorter line fits in a smaller space. Um, my numbers, the smallest one is 4, the largest one is 14, so I know my graph needs to go a little bit above 14, and it does not have to go, uh, it should start at 0, just because that makes the most sense. So down here in the bottom, I'm going to go 0. This line would be 0. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I have numbered my bars or my lines. Okay? We've done this step. Number three, draw and shade a bar to show the number for each sport. What did I forget to do? What did I forget to write on my graph? That's right, I forgot to list the types of sports. So let's go back and add those in. We have soccer. We have basketball. Baseball. And football. Okay, draw and shade a bar to show the number for each sport. Okay, so let's go with soccer first. How many did soccer have? 10, 11, 12. Soccer had 12. So right here is my 12 line. So I could go all the way to 12. This is my soccer line. Okay, how many basketball? Four basketball. 
So here's basketball, and it's only going to go to four. How many did baseball have? Ooh, baseball had the most at 14. Here's my line for 14. So I'm going to draw all the way out to my line. And I'm going to shade it in so that I know that that's my line. And then football had nine. So where is nine going to be on my graph? Well, I know that nine is bigger than eight and smaller than 10. So nine is actually in between those two. I could count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it goes halfway in between. So I'm going to draw my line for football. And I'm going to draw my bar to meet it. All right. Have we completed all of the steps for a bar graph? Can you tell what everyone's favorite, what, how many of your classmates like each favorite team sport? Yes, we have successfully created a bar graph. All right, go ahead on to the next slide and let's see what else we can get into.